Hello, yeah, today we've got a set of cushions for rubbering. A uh, customer complaint of thuddy regular bounce. Um, so I thought, right, let's go back to workshop, let's see what we can find. I've already stripped the, cush uh, the, the cloth of the cushion to reveal the block, which looks in pretty good condition. The brand new sport fillets and retaining slips. Now, I don't know if you can see, but looking down, there's a, there's a, there's a gap. I can see daylight through it. Please make me believe that these boxes are loose. Let me just take the cushion tape off, just see if it will reveal a cushion bit or, or a rubbering rubber bit. Okay, Northern Rubber, July. 2014. So we are six strokes, seven years old, which still should be performing pretty well at that age. So yeah, it does lead me to believe that yeah, the blocks are loose. They've been poorly fitted. There's no irregular gaps all along the top. I could tell that when I was uh, taking the cloth off. Um, yeah. Right, let's take the rubber off spot for it's off. Let's see how loose they really are. Okay, rubber off. Okay, it's revealing numerous sets of screws, also nails. Looks like, yeah, they tried to tighten the blocks up by just adding more fasteners, which doesn't really work. They need to be, they need to be glued on. Right, let's take the, take the screws out. Just so I can get a better grip of it and then pop these blocks off. Now let's see how easy these come off. Yeah, they are loose. And there's nothing, nothing holding them on. No glue whatsoever. Look. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Yeah, not, I don't think these are even glued on. No, because you can tell that the stain one they've used to use on the cushions has, has bled down the back of them. All, all the way along. Look. Yeah, this is why we never ever rubber on site. Because Brand new rubbers on these blocks would not make a, a bit of difference. They're still going to get the same problem. These need to be back into the workshop, new blocks fitted, which is what we're going to do. So, next job. Let's put these through the planer, get this face nice and square, and attach new blocks to them. Okay, next job is to plane the face, uh, ready for attaching the blocks to it. I'll do two light passes. Well, the first one just to show up any, any imperfections, and then the second one should just take it a nice, clean surface off. But first of all, I'm just going to make sure uh, so the planer, so that's square to the face, is what we need. And so I'm just going to run a test piece, just to make sure that we're going to take off as much as I need. Okay, that's all set. So that's a. First one just to show you any high spots, low spots, any imperfections, and the second one should just take a nice 
uh, a nice surface off it prior to blocking. Okay. No spots at one end, another pass, take that completely off. thing I like to do is just ease over this edge. Two reasons. One, it's just nicer to, to handle when you're picking it up and two, it's eased over, it's just easier to cover uh, once we get to that stage. So six mil half round bit in the router. has been planed and the edges have been eased. Now time to attach the blocks. These are the blocks we'll use at Chewley Wood, it's hardwood. Uh, use these because it accepts the staples really well. There's no knots in it and it's a good base to attach your rubbers to. These are non-rebated, uh, tend to rebate after it's attached either in a block itself or even into the cushion depending on the design. Uh, time to mark out the screw positions. A little template what I've made just gives them evenly spaced along the length. Just line this up and push down. Save every time. Right, just put this in the vise. dry to start with this is a gauge what we've made a uh, sixteenth of an inch or two and a bit mil this just drops the block down from the cushion face so when you're covering it it's a nice flat surface so when you're coming off the cushion you don't catch the ridge okay let's just pile the first one Thank <laughs> you. 
nice even layer of glue all along the edge. And we're even out using a brush. So you can cut glue. Okay, I'll throw it up using those marks. And also using this gauge to make sure that we set just below the surface. screw nicely just below the surface. Excess glue. Also on the top. can be put aside to dry and then we'll rebate and cut and shape the blocks. Okay the blocks are on and now dry. Time to form the rebate. Choosing to put the rebate in the actual cushion capping. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing plus it gives you optimum depth of the block still to attach the rubber for a better ball response. Okay, so we're going for a depth of 10 mil with a eight mil wide rebate. Got my eight mil straight cutting bit in, so we're gonna take three passes. Okay, so first pass.
go. Nice, clean rebate. We have got 8mm, you can see that, and a 10mm depth. Okay, so the next job is to cut these angles and then shape them with the router prior to uh, rubber in. Okay, next stage is to cut and shape the blocks. Um, 48 degrees for your corners, 60 degrees for your middles. 48 and 60. Um, I've got a stock block already set up at the chop saw. So we'll do corners first, then middles. Fresh cut on your middle at 60, fresh cut on your corner at 48. Next job is to do the other side, well, that's how I swing the arm across, set up the stop block and then route these angles out. 